for sale ruin. Belonging soaked in floodwaters, thousands of families living along the Withlacoochee River haven't even begun to recover from Hurricane Irma. News Channel 8's Corey Davis joins us north of Dade City tonight. That's off State Road 50. It's right near the Hernando Pasco County line. And Corey, that river crested today, but it's going to take a while for it to recede. And Stacy, good evening to you. Yeah, families out here in the Riverdale subdivision continue to feel the pain of that flooding. Take a look out there. A house looks like it's on an island. The safest way to get through that chest deep water is by boat. It's been rising two inches every day. A major concern for Valley Jones for the past 11 days since Hurricane Irma. Her home nearly surrounded by water. I'm just worried. <laughs> I'm worried that my trailer's next, you know. A front row view to what could happen. The homes next door here in the Riverdale subdivision flooded by rising waters of the Withlacoochee River. And as for Jones's shoes and clothes. They're all wet, <laughs> wet. The houses a few streets over look like islands. For sale signs are up, but the buildings are filled with knee deep water. They've been through it before, just like me. John Van Buren has grown to learn the river's habits over the past 26 years, weathering the rising water with each major storm. I know what to look for and what to do ahead of time. It'll go down very slow, very slow. The river is expected to begin receding a couple days after it reaches its highest level. For Van Buren, there's always something to learn from each flood. And learn a lesson very well. What kind of lesson? be prepared all the time. I'm already thinking about next hurricane season. And back live here, the river is uh, the river is about two and a half feet from record flood level, which is about 20 feet. Now, officials don't expect it to get that high or even much higher than it is right now. Stacy, back to you. Boy, rough for those people. We feel for them. Thank you, Corey.